thunderous applause shows how much you have enjoyed this performance. Wow, that was stunning. Thank you, boys. We must also encourage our young heroes, Prabhu sir and Ebenezer sir, who guided the dancer. Next, we are delighted to present a unique and insightful conversation on media. The media plays a crucial role in our daily lives, but like anything, it has its pros and cons. Exactly, Anmay. From traditional newspapers and television to social media and online news platform, the media is omnipresent. It informs, educates, and entertains us, but it also has its share of pitfalls. To explore this topic in depth, we have a pilot our talented participants to engage us in a dialogue that reflects how we can balance the benefit and mitigate the drawbacks of media in today's digital age. Before we begin, let's extend a warm welcome to the individuals who will be taking us through this enlightening discussion. Good morning to everyone. We are here to discuss about the impact of mass media on Indian culture. Mass media can influence the society by shaping its norm, values, standards, and expectations, and affecting its social, political, and cultural behavior, such as dressing, clothing, and voting tendencies. In general, the impact of mass media can be both negative and positive. Here are some key effects which we are going to discuss as a panel discussion. Hi, Ants. Do you use mobile phone at home? Yes, of course, everyone does. Even babies are using smartphones nowadays. I am in 8th standard. I play games and watch videos on my phone always. Don't you think it's a wastage of time watching social media and playing games? Excessive social media has led to many health issues such as anxiety and depression. Instead, you can entertain yourself with playing outdoor games and make yourself fit and healthy. You are absolutely right. India has many traditional games such as Pachisi, Gili Danda and Langdi, Addu Puli Atam, Palanguli, etc. But due to mass media, influence our old culture and traditions are vanishing away. Yes, it's true. Every coin has two sides. Though mass media, we can learn many new games that are very entertaining and professional and also originated in India which we can now watch in Olympics. Yes, I do agree. Anyway, modern game or traditional game, I love them both. But one thing we should keep in mind, as being an Indian, we should preserve our traditional games. Not only mass media has influenced our traditional games, but also our eating habits, dressing, etc. Yes, Sam, due to social media, people's lifestyle are keep on changing every day. Can you say some traditional foods of India? Italy dosa. Sarso da saag and dal makhni. Dhokla. Litti chokha. Lentils and grains. Khichdi. Now can you say which is your favorite food? Burger. Pizza. French fries. Momos. Chowmin. Manchurian. Yes, my guess was right. I know that due to media we are influenced to eat western food rather than Indian food. People even feel proud to say that they ate Western food but not Indian traditional food. We should not always forget about our native food and focus only on Western food because according to the climate of place, food habits are also different. It is good to eat Indian food for Indian climate. Hmm, not only media has changed our games and food but also dressing habit. Nowadays, women feel more comfortable in wearing western dress than Indian costume. This big impact of social media led to the spread of western culture in India, potentially threatening Indian traditional costumes. In India, 29 different states had their own traditional dresses like gamcha, dhoti, kurta, Kurti and Sirwani, etc. But urban people who are influenced by the mass media have totally changed their dressing styles. Only rural areas people still follow traditional dresses. Even people in the city look down on the people who wear Indian dresses. This is very sad to know. It's time to reconsider this mindset. When we were discussing about our traditional dress, it reminded me of our mother tongue. How many of you even know your mother tongue? Can you please share? Yes, my mother tongue is Tamil. My mother tongue is Hindi. My mother tongue is Bengali. My mother, my mother tongue is Bhojpuri. My mother tongue is Mathli. My mother tongue is Maghi. 
Can you please read and write it? Yes, yes. No, no. That's good of you, Parth. You know, my parents forced me to speak in English language. They think it's very great and prestigious. That's pathetic to know that people are misled by media, showing that English is only superior language. Indian languages are so sweet, and to speak in our mother tongue, it's heart touching, and there is an emotional bond between relationships. Yes, and yes, there are 121 languages and 270 mother tongues in India. Among these 121 languages, 22 languages are official languages of India. They are suffering day by day due to the impact of mass media. We should bring awareness among the people to preserve our mother tongue and feel proud about it. What do you think how mass media affects voting patterns? Whatever opinion the mass media has about politicians, my family sticks to traditional voting. That's exceptional. Majority of people watching media and change their mindset when it comes to voting. If we follow what media says about the candidate and then vote, the result can be either way good or bad, which we can't imagine. Media can even harm our relationships with people. We must not be too much influenced by social media because we become what we watch more than what we do. In olden days, children were respectful and obedient to their elders. They learned good manners from their elders. But nowadays, due to mass media, children don't know to talk even properly to their elders and struggle with basic manners. And their mind is always consumed by social media games and videos. This breaks the relationship as they don't spend their time with family member and instead on close relation with someone whom they don't know. Yes, and this relationship problem can end up in serious danger. Next, I want to address the security and privacy challenges due to mass media. People post everything on mass media without considering about their privacy and safety. The collection and use of personal data by ma mass, mass media and technology companies raises significant privacy challenges with the possible misuse of it. Nowadays, we frequently hear news related to the misuse of data which are posted on social accounts. Cyberbullying, spamming, phishing, etc. The list is endless. How can we stop this? These days, there is no need of the various cyber crimes mentioned by Anch because people just share their personal information without knowing what cause it can harm to them and with less efforts, cyber criminals get all data about us. Hey Adesh, what did you post on social media yesterday? I went to park. Hey Anch, what did you post? I posted when I am in restaurant. Hey Sam, what about you? I posted on bathroom vlog. Oh, nowadays people just share everything on social media. Whatever they eat, whatever they do, got wet in rain or nonsense. So what do you think about the purpose of mass media? It is to share just information? No, no. You can't believe what that fake information which is present on internet. Everything on internet is not real. We have to believe what is real by thinking over it. Analyze it practically possible or not. But without internet, nothing this modern period will run. We are totally dependent on mass media just for everything. Yes, the modern generation is dependent on mass media for simple things like homework. It reduces our creativity, but there are some positive impacts of mass media. Yes, like connectivity. Social media has connected Indians across the globe, fostering a sense of community and cultural exchange. Cultural preservation. Social media platform have enabled the sharing and preservation of heritage, traditional and languages. Empowerment. Social media has given a voice to marginalized communities, enabling them to share their stories and perspectives. Education and awareness. Social media has facilitated information and education, promoting awareness about the social and cultural issues. Less manpower, the development of technologies like mass media has increased the effectiveness of work and decreased the manual work. Both the positive and negative aspects of media are numerous. On the positive side, media leads us a way of disseminating information and use to more login. Additionally, media and internet enables people to access new things, learn about new things, and know the events and issues.
issues happening around the world. On the negative side, media and internet can spread misinformation and fake news which can mislead people and confuse the people. Overall, social media's impact on Indian tradition is complex and complicated. While it offers opportunities for social connection and cultural exchange, it also possesses a threat to Indian traditions and customs. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. A heartfelt thank you to our meaningful letter to our Independence Day celebration. We are truly glad to Angel Ma'am for her fantastic script and practice, which made everything worthwhile. Freedom is never there at any price. It is the breath of life. What would a man not pay for living? Said by Mahatma Gandhi.